to be honest, I think both you and I should sue him for not choosing me. Okay, this just got end. weird. But Peter Kelly, obviously he sent her home on the show. Now they seem to be quarantining together and Peter has said they are not dating, but he's very potentially interested in that. So he's engaged to Hannah Ann, then he's trying to make it work with Madison, he's in love with her. A couple weeks later, he's interested in Kelly. I'm just wondering as the father of the franchise, how you feel about all this bouncing around for Peter? Well, I think he is he is being prudent now. And that's why I think he gave the statement he did of, I'm not dating, we're not dating, but is there potential? Sure. But right now the optics of that aren't good. Uh, probably mentally and emotionally, it's not great for him. So let's take a little time out, slow things down and take it easy. But I, I know he's interested in Kelly. He always has been. They've always had this interesting connection, this interesting chemistry. And this is one of those times, and I'll take a little blame for this. The show wasn't perfect for that relationship. Um, I don't think Kelly was right for the show. I'll be napping here. See you in a bit. She's brilliant. She's beautiful. Lawyer, all those things wonderful attributes, and Peter was a great bachelor, but for them specifically, it just didn't work. She fought the concept. It was tough for her to not be in her own head, not to try and look into the production. It just didn't work for her, and that hurt their chemistry. This process and journey that we're in, it's just, it's not easy to be like, here's my all. And that's why he let, he let her go. I think them living in the real world and just dating is a better environment and a better situation. So I'm hopeful. I, look, I'm definitely not against it. And, and I, I love both of them. I think Kelly's great. You and I hung out with her, you know, right before the quarantine. We love Peter, so why not? I have to ask you how you feel about Kelly saying that producers, quote, manipulated Peter. And she said that she was locked in a closet for three hours by production. I talked to Kelly today. Okay. And, uh, and, and a phone call, a text, what happened? We, we talked on the phone. Okay. Wow. Where was I for this? Uh, <laughs> okay. And I said, what was that? We don't lock people in closets. So clearly you weren't locked in a closet for three hours. What did you mean? That would seem like it would be something to file a police report <laughs> right. about, if I'm being honest. If and someone held you in a closet against your will. She laughed. <laughs> she laughed and she says, no, that was a, that was taken a little bit out of context. And she's a smart girl who I think is used to getting what she wants. And she didn't get that time with Peter. And she wanted that time with Peter. And I think it came to a head in Cleveland when, like everybody, you are being interviewed with a producer. You're not in a closet. It's in a, it's in a room. And it does take, sometimes it takes hours. I think Kelly was frustrated at the time. And that's how she articulated that. She apologized. She said, that was not what I meant to say. She, she's like, I'm so sorry that it came out that I was locked in a closet. So everybody, it's okay. Kelly was not locked in a closet. She's safe and she's good. And she apologized and I laughed it off. And I was like, I get it. I knew what you were trying to say. Okay. So you and Kelly are good. Oh yeah, she's great. Kelly and Peter are potentially very good. Yeah, potentially. Uh, I, I mean, why not? Why not just get, well, get the what, chance? What's interesting about Barb's this? gonna love it. I was just gonna say, I mean, I talked to Kelly after the uh, after the final rose finale, and she said Barb was so excited to meet her. Barb's a huge fan. <laughs> she stands Kelly. Barb loves her so much, and obviously Peter has shown he cares what his mom thinks. So is Barb winning in the end here? Is Barb getting what she wants? <laughs> People gotta take it easy on Barb. She's just, look, she's a loving mother. Um, overstepped her bounds a little bit on live TV. She's gonna have to fail to succeed. That's it. But you know what? Who knows what you do on live TV in front of millions of people. Um, but she loves her son, and that is the bottom line. And she just wants what's best for him. Peter seems happy. He seems good. I've talked to Peter back and forth uh, quite a bit during the quarantine, just checking on him and seeing how he's doing. And he's good. And obviously, he got drugged through it and beat up. So did Barb. So did the whole family. But they're doing good. And so if they're good, then let's, let's move on and give Peter yeah. and Kelly a chance, if that's what they want. Well, Peter did also say something about how he felt like Barb got too much screen time on the finale, that it took away from him and Madison. And I wanted your opinion on that as somebody who's very much involved in yeah. the production of those shows. Yeah, well, and I will say this, I'm not involved with the production of that particular moment because I was hosting a live show. So at the moment, I'm, I don't even see what's on the screen. I don't get programming. So I don't even know Barb's in a box. I didn't know she was gonna go down that road in tear into Madison. I had no idea. Um, and then I actually took the onus off of Barb. And this was my call in 100% on me. I could have easily laid into Barb because she opened the door. 
I could have easily allowed her to just keep going and, and let Madison and her go at it. But then I, I said, you know what? I'm going to pivot to the dad. And I think the dad's probably going to save us. But that's when Barb <laughs> says what she said in Spanish. <laughs> yeah, you better help me. Um, and so I'm like, okay. And then I just kind of cut it all off and, and we went to commercial break. So look, I understand Peter's point because it was, it was embarrassing. And he, who wants to air their dirty laundry on live TV? But I will say from my perspective and from my point of view as a producer and a guy hosting a live TV show, I could have made that a lot worse. It was easy to make that worse. And I didn't. And, and, the, and to their credit, the producers in my ear did not say make it worse. <laughs> they, they agreed. They said, good job going to the dad. Good job going to commercial break. Let's try and get out of this. Um, so I will, I, I totally understand his point. I get it because that's his family, but he, and I think he understands. Peter's been amazing and graceful during this whole thing, and I give him a lot of credit for handling this with grace and poise. He's been very eloquent.